This is Boarding Party Ragnarok, featuring Joel as Elmar Gregory, Jordan as Griff, Devin as Captain Perseus Blackwater, and Dean as Pollen Watkins. Seeing the dire nature of his condition, Elmar and Refusul head for Fola in search of a powerful healer, hopeful that his condition is one from which he might recover. Refusul, a men deal, bones, battered and rehealed ruse, and Elmar on the saw's buck. You ethereally disposition from the far north, and you reappear in the sewers beneath Fola. As your eyes open, Refusul, you're in an unfamiliar set of tunnels. Elmar seems totally okay with this. The Sazbuck, not so much. Bones and Ruse kind of... Bones lands on his feet. Ruse just sort of he's, appears. He's Ruse is, knocked out, right? He's knocked yeah. out. He's, Ruse, Ruse just sort of unconscious. appears on the ground next to you. Now are, are we we're in sewage? Are we in we're in the sewers or like are Correct. are we in like a foot of sewage or no. is it just empty sewer? So all of the water flowing through here mm -hmm. is remarkably pure. Okay, because like it's when you said that clear. I was thinking really stanky. Yeah, no, no we're in like a sewer. Is in like there's two pathways and there's like a channel in the mm -hmm. middle. Yeah, it's okay. it is it's exactly as you're envisioning, mm -hmm. with one major exception. That no, no sewage smell. that you would expect to see is completely odorless. It's crystal clear water. Some um, somewhere magical, probably where people's poop don't stink. Exactly. All right. But In gentlemen, the land where poop don't stink. Gentlemen, as <laughs> you're dispositioning, if you would be so kind as to please give me an Arcana check. If you are unfamiliar, I thought you were going to say initiative already. No. I was like, dude. No. <laughs> so it'll be a. <laughs> Let us get Ruse there at least yes. first. For Refusul, let me pull up your your bonus. But for now, go ahead and roll a 20 sided die here. Okay. Oof. Awesome. Oof. As you disposition. I, I can't roll from. Uh, How'd you do? That needs to go in dice jail. Three. Uh, yeah. Your, you know, if I roll for you, I roll amazing. If I roll for myself, your it's Arcana dice jail. is only a plus one. So you get a four. And I got a nine. You got a nine. Okay. All right, gentlemen, as you're as you're transferring yourselves through the digital highway that is the astral plane, you don't notice anything too spooky before you land. So we're gonna jump you right back into the sewers. Nothing changes. All right. Well, uh, the good news is we're below the town now, so let's let's get him some help. Do you ever get used to that? Just no. you're somewhere and then you materialize somewhere else. I mean, no. if, if I'm being honest, I've I haven't gotten used to any of this, so almost I've become used to things being weird. All right, and I assume we're where we need to be. Yeah, we're you don't seem upset. No, we're below <laughs> the. Uh, the main city of Fola. I don't know if you've ever been here before, but um, it's one of the few strongholds we've seen that's been able to hold off Hot Dad's forces, and uh, we can get Josiah or Ruse some some help. Okay. Which, if I'm being honest, is the only reason why I'm helping right now. Uh, yeah. Well, me too. Okay. So we have that in common. <laughs> Although I need to let you know, I I have no beef with you or Perseus and I understand your loyalty to Griff I just have a problem with Griff and he obviously has a problem with me but um, I just want it to be known that I do not have any problem with you or Perseus and I don't have any problem with you either um, however as we just mentioned most of that is reliant on uh, Ruse's high opinion of you himself is someone that I've worked with over the years before I knew of elves and magic and someone that I trusted and if you're a friend of his you're a friend of mine as far as I'm concerned but um, as we say enemy of the enemy is my friend and if the two of you are enemies I think you need to bury that hatchet so you can take I, him down 
I 100% agree with that statement. I'm not here to be anybody's friend, but we have a mutual enemy and I'd like to take him down. And I'd like to do it in a way that's not reckless or going to get people hurt because of, you know, one of our team being a reckless maniac. Fair. And I would just like to wake up every morning and not be concerned that one of our squad is dead due to petty squabbles. I would look all I'm all about is building our army, making us as strong as we can possibly be. But hey, right now let's just get Ruse some help. For sure. Yeah, we're okay. already we're we're talking and walking. It's a walk and talk. The walk we're on the west wing. Alright. The walk and talk. So yes, in you know, when this is all over I'll be going my separate way. And, uh, you know, I just look, I find him reckless. He's, he, he signed a deal with Harvestman. Like, who does that? Um, he, in my first battle with him, he shoots at me. <laughs> I mean, I, I just, I, 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 I like to be a little more thought, methodical and planned. Fully understandable. And I had, uh, found the bouts amusing and uh almost a rivalry kind of way but uh if i'm being honest this recent news discovery of you possessing stone powers uh was it it definitely caught us off guard for what we know of them and what they're capable of and seeing what came out of it mm -hmm. um i wholeheartedly believe that he did the wrong thing you know adjusting your arrow in such a manner but on the flip side we have such a powerful ally out of it that the the information on how those were made is is uh crazy valuable and i agree but again reckless like we don't know what's going to happen for all we knew there could have been 10 of those and we could have been wiped out in a 10 second you know Let's build some barriers. Let's separate. Let's, For sure. you know what I mean? Let's, uh, you can't just go recklessly throwing stuff and it's fine. And I respect his power in honestly, from what I'm seeing, he may be much more powerful than I originally thought. Because when I signed up with you guys, I thought I really just needed somebody to help me with the mass numbers of his creatures. But, you know, now that we're coming across these other beings and, now that I have a greater understanding, I, I think it's going to take all of us. And, uh, you know, again, I, I want to build numbers and I want to have power. So let me ask this now. Mm -hmm. Are there any other skill kept secrets that would put them on edge if revealed in, in our next bout with danger? Well, let me put it this way. We all have lots of powers that we can do and I don't know all of yours and you probably don't know all of mine but you know I can't sit here and go through a, a complete list of what I can and can't do for sure no I'm not I'm not asking for a handbook on everything you're capable of I'm mm -hmm. just curious if there are any other stone-based qualities that would help with our knowledge and expertise on because hot dad is seeking these very stones out himself mm -hmm. to bolster his own skill and his army yeah and the more we know about those the more we might know about where he's going and what he could do with those totally understand and i didn't even know of the stones and honestly i didn't figure it out until we were battling that my arrows may have come from stones because i never actually saw them being made Ruse brought them to me and said, look, we have a way of making the arrows shoot further, be more accurate, and they're much more powerful. And quite frankly, and, and, and you know, maybe I'm a little guilty of what I'm accusing Griff of is, you know, I was a little reckless and didn't ask why or how the weapon was created. I was just excited to have something and knew I needed it to uh, take this guy down. So, um, yeah. I, you know, it's not like I saw the stone and was able to, I, I put two and two together. 
Okay. I figured it out. I didn't know going into it, like, hey, this was... But I did figure it out when they were attacking Ruth. Yeah. That's when I, I go, you know what? They're going after him. The only thing different about him is the arrows. And they seem to be attracted to the stone. So, hey, that those stones seem to be making things more powerful. Two and two together. That I figured it out five minutes before you guys heard. Sure. It's just your delivery of the information was highly suspect. Well, I'm... You know, I, I'm a. I, I'm sure you figured out. I'm quiet and reserved, and I like to watch and pay attention more than just react. I like to. Uh, you know, I'm a chess player, not a checker player. And Griff's a checker player. He just likes to throw it out there and see what happens. Again, he, we're allies. I, the last thing I want to do is hurt him in the middle of the night. I'm not going to. When this is all over, I'm not going to. I will defend myself if he comes at me. But I'm not going to initiate and I, you know, we need to be strong. This conflict's coming and coming fast. So, you know, a, a severed arm or a severed leg for either one of us does the team absolutely no good. So I would like to, after I had asked the question about any other additional stone secrets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. use my innate cop insight abilities to see if maybe he puts his hand on a dagger or looks at something in his possession something that's like you know like where do you keep your secrets and you accidentally glance at your own safe and it's mm -hmm. like something like that incept yeah. him yes okay yeah. um let's see oh just in case well, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and do do an inside check real quick, and we'll see if we need anything else. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. I need to like pass you a note. <laughs> do you have the yes or no? Um. No. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll a die. And if it's, well, we're going to go from there. I know, I know <laughs> what I want to do, but I don't want to say it. Okay. So. Okay. Um, you don't notice any obvious tell. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like immediately grab a, a pouch or like scruff his nose and then lightning shoots out or anything. There's nothing glaringly obvious. obvious. Okay. But yeah, as the, as the two of you continue to have your have your back and forth bones just very silently walks the saws buck and ruse behind you you guys finally reach the sewer grate that you've left from last time all right um presuming there's a a guard as hopefully we asked there, there are, to be <laughs> there are now would be in four trouble. guards okay. because you did you have mentioned last to time them here um, I'll get into it in a second, but, uh, hello, fine fallen soldiers. Um, we have a, a wounded man. We need to immediately seek medical attention. Could you please let us out? Give me a, give me a, per, a persuasion check real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, 11. 11? Okay. Rather than question how you both with a wounded man and an elk appeared in the sewer, the guard on duty seems flustered. He goes, oh yeah, sure. Get, get, get it open. Get it open. They have wounded. And they kind of like haul the, the sewer grate up for you. Your, your size buck kind of like tilt his head sideways and under to get out of the sewers. And you, they all kind of see the state that Ruse is in and they're like, Terrible. And they're like, get him, get him to the barracks. And they'll kind of lead you along down the trails, aka the city streets. Is one of them or more of them coming with us? Uh, we'll say probably two of them would escort you, and given the, the circumstance. Have you guys had any issues or odd things with the sewer as of late? Other than you right now, no. Okay. But things have been quiet. That's good. That's good. And that mysterious fellow's been absent of late. 
doesn't ask to be released anymore. Since the last time we were here, or was he still doing that after and then... Not since the last time you emerged from that... Oh, okay. That same grate. Gotcha. What okay. happened to your friend? He looks positively mangled. We took on a really powerful beast and he took the brunt of it. Clearly. <clears throat> and from my understanding, some probably less than ideally potent magic mm. kept him alive. See that? Well, I'll, I'll see what our our medics can do. I can't imagine there's too much, but we can we can make him comfortable while we make we, your preparations. We heard mention of a a, a female medic that that deals with more mm. natural or magically inclined healings, right? Yes. We'd like to inquire if she's available. Okay, make a let's get another persuasion check from either one of you. Well, sixteen, pretty good. Okay, I'm eighteen. Oh, I'm plus six. Dang. On mine. Okay. Well, I'm plus on mine. Dude. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you, you do notice there's a hesitation when you mention it. Yes, there is a um. Well, a, a healer that you could see, but if if you're desperate, if if that's how how important is he's very important i mean you can see this it's not your average wounds yes do you think the barracks could handle this out of just being honest we can make him comfortable yeah we're not looking to make him comfortable till he dies so we want him fixed very well um then i recommend you head west from here. Leave the city? It's not far. Oh, okay. It's half a day's ride at longest, but the healer you are looking for, she lives. She lives to the west. But I strongly advise you look for another way first. Well, do you have any of these other ways in mind? Sadly, no. That's why I asked if he's important to you. I know, I know it's it's hard to hear, but... Well, then I think our hands are tied. Yeah. And we can't ride your beast, right? Because we don't know how many rides <laughs> we have. <laughs> so. I, I'd be happy to put in a word for you with the stables, get you... An extra few steeds, but... Bones, would you mind doing that and meeting us out there? It, no problem. We need, a, uh, we need a cart, too, that he can travel. Ruse can travel comfortably. We'll I'll take care sure of it. It doesn't get worse. Meet me at the Western Gate when you're ready to go. Sounds good. Thank you. And I'll hand him some of the gold. Okay. He takes it. He's like, ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Some like, of the gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <He's> Two like, <laughs> pieces of gold. No, yeah. enough, <laughs> enough of the gold. Yeah. It's, I it's, want change. It's <laughs> I need receipts. <laughs> you, yeah. Per, is Perseus is in charge of the cash, so it, it needs to... He knows, man. He knows the monies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, Bones and the other guard that's with you will head off towards the western gate. The guard that you've been speaking to his, as soon as everyone else is sort of clear, he gets very pale. He says, if, if you intend to ride west, you should, you should take these charms with you. They will help you see through the healer's guise. But while her magic is powerful, it comes at a price. A heavy one. Can I investigate this fella and, and see if mm -hmm. there's a reason why he just suddenly went uh, all pale? And... Uh, you right there? Yeah. yeah, it's just that's the bad name. But yes, yes, you may investigate the fellow or inside the fellow or however you'd like to do it is I fine. I want to see if I can see anything that like, because this seems magical to me. 
if there was any shift in like a, a possession of sorts or mm. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you could do, I will say medicine, insight, or investigation. I will allow any of the three. I will insight. You don't want investigation. They're the same. Yeah, insight will tell you. If, in my bonus. Mm. Yeah, it'll tell you basically like if they're being truthful with you, if there's any deception involved. Investigation would be more of a physical shift where insight would be an emotional or verbal one. Okay. All right, here we go. Wee. 18. 18? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, as you're as you're watching this guy, it seems like he was just sort of holding in whatever it is he had to say. It's not a new personality. It's more of like he held the the hesitance and the fear together as long as he could. Gotcha. And once everybody else was out of earshot. He just it seems like if someone were to just casually mention like your greatest fear okay. type deal like you would get very pale wow sort of clammy and can i oh god i want to ask is is this something that four of us can do can we do this journey oh the the journey are is we easy. walking into a death trap oh she won't kill you no you're oh. no use to her dead hmm Good, good, good. The, good, good, good. the journey is not long. It's not particularly difficult. She wants to be found. The problem Great. is the price. Sounds like a Venus flytrap. Just glad Griff is in here. Well, Just keep, I'll accept keep these charms yeah, with you. I'll accept the charms. Can I r religiously feel them out? Oh, yeah. Sure. 18. Oh, oh. That die is stuck on 14 today. I'm okay there with that. Go. <laughs> there you are. Yes. Um, for for the current moment, um, the closest affiliation, if we were to do a D and D setting, would be um, a charm of Sylvanas, which would be a very powerful god of nature. Um, cares very much about the natural order. It's typically looked to by druids. Um, it's someone Griff would probably be familiar with. The analog for the setting would be probably uh scotty which is the goddess that griff follows oh gotcha, gotcha. um rather <laughs> conveniently as it works out yeah. but i think we brought the wrong person <laughs> maybe <laughs> griff should have come with you you didn't want to um but it's basically a, it's there, just like a leaf based uh are there two charm. of them mm -hmm. okay. there's two he has two charms okay um while you have them if they are on your person you get a plus one to insight and nature for those checks. Okay. Here you go. Do I have to roll it? No. No, 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 no. 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 It's an item. Oh, okay. So you so have we both that. have one. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm giving it to you. So somewhere on your notes or... On <laughs> <it>. <laughs> and I dropped it. There you go. So somewhere in your notes or on, you know, a piece of paper or just yeah. in your brain. Mm-hmm. Just note that you have a um, a charm of Scotty. It is it's a common enchantment item. It's not nothing too crazy. Okay. Just a buff to your nature and insight rolls while you have it. Well, in we'll head over to the West Gate unless there's anything else you want to do. Oh. You, you know, besides rest up and heal because I've been <laughs> in, in really bad shape for three days now. <laughs> but Ruse is more important. Let's go. Um, while we wait for him, the, uh, source of that, that stone that Griff used on your arrow was down in those sewers. You may have noticed how clean the water was. Mm-hmm. Has an ability to remove any abnormalities from any object and or person. Was, was it given to him or did he steal it? It was given. Oh. We had a hard fought battle with the being that protected it and he gave us a piece to use and it was my hopes because hot dad has been infused with other stones and other magical abilities that we could use it on him to strip him of those powers and make him a normal human again but instead he used it on my arrow yeah 
that's brilliant so uh yeah and maybe before we leave because we'll have to come back here because this is in the opposite direction i believe or this is west and they're north yes um we could see if we can get more but it's such a terrifying substance i'm afraid to touch it i don't want to get anywhere near it i'm sure i don't know how you feel about the risk of losing any abilities you have by touching it yeah i don't i don't want to go near okay. it so that was the source of that all right scary times yeah again maybe we should have brought griff instead of me <laughs> <laughs> another of the guards who's kind of been fading in and out of the conversation will walk up to you with two small vials they i i don't mean to intrude but i heard you say you could use some rest um th this might help you handy the the two vials do you know this guy i don't think so hi hello um can big, i roll a fan. check and see if i trust this guy you roll an inside sure okay um, 15 on the die. 15 on the die, okay. I mean, he seems just sort of shy. I'm suspicious of everyone. It's, it's, it's a healthy suspicion. Happens. Yeah. Um, you know what? I will take the vial, but not take the vial. Okay. Um, you can keep him with you. I'll keep it with me. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if it's death or that, yeah, I might because, do it, but um, I'm not going to do it now to heal up from 50% the, the red one will heal the body. Uh, the blue one will heal the mind. Okay. All right. I'll put those one in my... One keeps you in the matrix. In the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the blue pill. <laughs> um, okay, great. So I, I, I put those in a very safe spot in my pouch. Yeah, you don't in, want those... Don't wrapped those in breaking. cotton <laughs> and then with a sponge around. Wow. I have a very safe, safe spot in my... Yes. To keep things from breaking. That's canon now. You know exactly where to put that. Mm hmm Yes. <laughs> okay. Do the two of you have any other unfinished business? I don't think so. Um, you want to grab some supplies before we go? I mean, we don't need much, but a day would be nice to have rations for... Yeah, we can. I know we told Perseus we would grab some, but it feels kind of weird to go into whatever this experience is going to be with our new supplies. No, no, no. I'm saying just for us, for yeah, yeah. just a 24 hour, you know, maybe 36 hours worth of supplies. Sure. So you're, you're going to buy supplies later? The the main brunt of supplies later, yes. Okay. But we're mm -hmm. just going to get a couple things for now. Some foods. Some yeah, food stuff. Yeah, carrots. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and um, knock off. I, you guys have so much money, it almost doesn't matter. But you can go ahead and knock off like five gold pieces. Get you a couple of days of food. Okay. We won't get into the specifics of copper and silver bits. We'll just okay. keep it a nice round number. Perseus will be happy. Balance the book. Mm -hmm. It says here in your ledger, uh, you spent five gold on <laughs> carrots. Yeah. Yes. Why? <laughs> so sorry. To so, feed the DM Lord, please don't hurt me. So sorry, I, Captain. I, I feel like he'll say, you know, hey, Rufusul, what are you doing spending all this money? And you'll be like, hey, we needed supplies. Oh, no, no problem. <laughs> hey, my luck. You, you know what? I don't like. You know what? <laughs> we should say that. as When we get back, you just... I want to hear you say how much we spent to see how it's handled. Mm -hmm. just, just out of curiosity. Okay. Is that a lot? I can roll. I can roll. <laughs> Is that a lot? I got 15. Is that a lot? <laughs> That's not a yes. problem. I, you know, no. it, Perseus and I are not friends, but I trust <laughs> him. There you go. Alrighty. So the two of you make your way to the Western Gates. You see Bones standing at the ready. He's got the saws buck hitched up. To a much smaller cart than the one that you purchased earlier. For sure, for sure. Ruse is sitting in the back. There's a sort of bed of hay back there. It doesn't look like the most comfortable thing, but it'll keep him flat and steady. And he's kind of loosely lashed on there so he doesn't fall off on bumpy roads or anything. 
and there's two other steeds waiting. Have you ridden a steed before? It's pretty hard to live in this time and era without knowing or ever ridden a Fair enough. Oh, was, but as, yes, as someone who teleports everywhere. I didn't know I, if you'd ever <laughs> bothered. No. <laughs> I'm not always in a hurry. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. It's worth the ask. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate it. For all I know, you could summon a, a spectral wagon that you <laughs> shoot around in. I really have no idea. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's ride west. Can we see it from where we're at our destination? Like, is it that close? No, okay. no, it's not. Uh, there's not like I am over here. It's uh, yeah. it's just like sparse trees. It's it's by no means a thick forest. There is still a road here. It is cobbled, which is why they're like, yeah, the ride is easy. Um, there's no. There's not often like bandits or anything on this road. It's pretty well patrolled. Plus, you know, he did say that the witch wants to make sure that, or the healer, excuse me, yeah, let's wants not, to let's make not be sure hasty. that, uh, <laughs> you know, people that want to get there can get there. Yeah. So she's as powerful as I think she might be. Um, I, I don't think the, uh, the journey is going to be the issue here. Sure. Okay. Well, let's let's ride. Let's make haste for for Ruse. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just I'm gonna ride behind for just the first mile or so because mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that he's not getting jostled too much. Okay. So I can keep an eye on him. All right. Yeah, Menadiel will probably sit in the back of the cart with him. Okay. Bones will ride if you'll allow it. Bones will ride the Sazbuck with the cart. Kind of he keeps it at a a pretty steady click, but it's it's slower. So as to not have him sure, sure. flying all around in the back. I'll scout ahead a little bit. Okay. okay. Not like out of eye shot, but it's fine. I really, I'm just looking for maybe the first 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. Alrighty, gentlemen, let's get a, uh, just a general perception check from, from either or both of you. I'm not too picky. Do the white one. That one's cursed. How about that? Neither are. 13, 16. 13 and 16. 13 okay. on the die. 13 on the die. Yeah. That's right. I don't have my stats. Yours so. is special. Oh, you have none. <laughs> <laughs> your, your perception Yours is, is special. Your perception has no bonus. Just kidding. You have 10 in wisdom. I'm not exactly the socialite of the group. <laughs> no. Odd considering the monk, too. Mm -hmm. But that, hey, that's okay. All right, as you guys are riding. Elmar, you're pretty attuned to seeing harvestmen scooting about. Thankfully, you don't see that here. All the trees stay stationary. The things in the trees keep an eye on you. There's a couple small, small-ish, green-tinged owls that I'll give you a recognizing glance as you ride through. And one hmm. substantially larger owl that kind of has a hood up, gives oh, you the nod. Gotcha. Yeah. Gives you the nod. Nothing menacing. Just this is real recognizing real. Okay. Do I recognize them from, say, Lavernia's camp? Mm hmm Okay, cool. At the very least, it'd be the, the same sort of creature. Gotcha. I will nod in respect back at them. Okay. These are friends. Okay. Well, I'm way behind you, so. Yeah. Rafasul, as you ride, you see. They eat your eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're not friends. They're not friends. <laughs> no, you guys are so silly. <laughs> ah! that it was all terrifying. Rafasul, as you ride behind, mm -hmm. you see a number of very small, but lightly glowing purple and blue mushrooms. And as you, as your little caravan approaches, they turn from purple to blue. And as they leave behind you, they go from blue to purple. They seem to be lighting up as you move past. Okay. Can I do a perception check with my new found? Uh... You can do a nature check if you want. The to. nature check. What's yeah. it called? Mm -hmm. With the charm. With the charm. Yeah. 
Sammy's Charm, is that what it was called? Sure. <laughs> You're on a first name basis with a god. <laughs> Sammy. Sammy. Your nature is now a plus two. So, by all means. Dude, dice jail. Seven. Please. Five plus two, seven. Okay. Yeah, they seem like motion activated mushrooms. That's perfectly normal. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's not be so hasty, guys. <laughs> well, had I rolled a 15, maybe I'd know more, but... Well, you'll never know. Maybe I, there's nothing more to I, know. I think, um... Elmar, it's Elmar worth is it. smart, and I'm gonna... That's no. right, I'm gonna switch my die and put... There you go. Yeah, Elmar, it's worth noting. Um, you see the mushrooms, but the more... The yeah, more yeah. Uh, appetizing thing to, For sure. to see is... Friends in the trees. Absolutely. So you're like, oh, cool mushrooms. Oh, yo, what's up, guys? What's up, owls? Okay. Well, you guys ride on for an hour. And you notice. The owls are long gone. The mushrooms are still here. As you ride past, turn from purple to blue. And as you leave them behind, blue back to purple. You want to check this out? Maybe, do you have any powers that can tell us what or why these might be doing what they're doing or if they're just indigenous strange creatures that just do what they do um i'll, I'll shrug my shoulders and you know, like i have no inclination towards it but and i'll lean over and, and look at them mm-hmm. and um eight eight okay <laughs> yeah there there's mushrooms that's for sure yeah um but the more you think about it, you've been riding for a while. Seems like you're in the same stretch of road. Like it just seems like without the trees. Yeah, I I can't say much about these mushrooms and their attributes, but I feel like we've been walking by these same mushrooms now. I get the feeling that we're a little lost. Or in some kind of magical realm where we're this term wouldn't apply but on a treadmill (laughs) just walking things are moving next to us things are moving i i just i i just realized that because we acted so emotional when we left we really did mess this up we left the two magic guys in a base. To be fair, we didn't know we were going to no, be doing this. I, I understand, but <laughs> we have similar powers. They have similar powers, and we probably should have alternated. But uh, I missed that because, and I'll take the blame for that. I disagree because I the way the, the conversation ended, they didn't care whether Josiah lived or died in that moment. And had they gone, they may have just let him die or left him at the barracks and been like yeah make him comfortable we'll head back and like we don't care all right so (laughs) we have two stones right that we just left um co Co has one and i guess no 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 not the stones that when we were we the charms yes two charms we tried one of the charms what's the other charm there's just two of the same ones i have one and you have one yep you each have one I thought maybe yours did something different mm-hmm. than mine. No, I, the guard just told you I they will no help idea. you see through the healer's guys. Okay, so obviously that was some sort of clue that we were going to come across something like this. It'd be nice if he didn't just give us a clue and just told us what we needed to do. But um, I'm going to hop off and get like even closer to one of these mushrooms and see mm-hmm. if it glows like maybe even more or different when I get like real close to it. Okay. You get real, real close? Yeah. Okay. All right, Elmar. Give me a nature check. Get real, real close. 19. 19? All right. As you lean down towards this mushroom, two little eyes open up and it has this big and adorable smile. Oh, hello. And the light turns from blue to green. You watch as all around you, this lovely forested road, cobbled stones, falls away into wilderness and nature all about you. 
and a little ways further ahead on the now mud clawed path is a small hut a little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney well that worked and a garden on the walk up I don't know what you did but well done thank you the little mushroom kind of plucks its roots out of the ground kind of nods towards the building starts walking with us Mm -hmm. um do you want to ride on my shield oh okay all right (laughs) Oh. Forget I even asked. Yep. Can yeah. I, it just waddles very slowly. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it has a nice friendly smile. Oh, the whole time, yeah. <laughs> That's I'm too embarrassed to incite that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it might it might be our doom, but I'm not going to. It would be rude. Uh-huh. We're gonna just let it happen. <laughs> We're oh, just gonna follow okay. okay. Smiley shroom. Mm-hmm. Lead us to the oven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you're right. I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. The little the little mushroom will walk all the way up near the porch, and then just kind of dig the roots back in in the garden soil, sort of pseudo replanting itself, and the light turns back to blue. And I'll like, like really awkwardly like go to pet it and then like change my mind. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I've disturbed it enough. <laughs> it just keeps going. I, I'm i going to nod and say thank you. It will nod back. With with respect. Mm-hmm. And we'll give a rap tap tap on the door. Okay. As you give your rap tap tap. For both of you. Give me an insight check. Oh no. 40. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good, dude. A, a billion. A million billion and one. 17 on the die. Do you have a 21? Woo! Plus his extra from the charm? Mm -hmm. Well, with the extra. Because I can punch it in on my phone. 18 for me. Okay. Both of you succeed in your insight check. As the door slowly swings open, there's no better word for it. It's a crusty hag <laughs> sitting in the corner. Uh, Got this long hooked nose, this big sort of cowl over the head. She turns around. Good afternoon, ma'am. Like a plague mask, but that's actually her face. Pretty much. Okay. Mm. Is it afternoon? I don't know, but it's... <laughs> good afternoon, ma'am. She gets this very wide, crooked smile, and you can see a lot of the teeth just miscolored and uh, misaligned as she mm, smiles at you. Of course, they are delightful. One of us has to kiss. Her well, hello, <laughs> dearies. What brings you to my door? We need your help. Well, that is very apparent. (laughs) One of our friends and colleagues is in really bad shape. Would you like some tea? Uh, uh, We Mm. sure. I'll take some tea. You know what? I just had some, so Mm. I'm okay. Thank you. But but at least one of you has manners. If 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 I could if I could press. If you could just look at him, he's he's not in uh, a good place, and and we mm. heard recommendation mm-hmm. that you possess mighty skills and could maybe oh. even help him. Mighty skills, indeed. Now mm. then, about that tea. Sure. Yeah. Tea. Yes. No. I it... pours you a very oh, tall, okay. steaming brew in a knotted wood cup kind of pushes it towards you and it kind of sloshes over the edge. Thank you. I look at you like, you're not really going to drink that, are you? (laughs) And uh, I'll give you a look that I would drink the ocean ears salt water (laughs) for a cup to entertain healing ruse. So bottoms up. I, I'm not going to chug it, but I you will take, take some sips. Okay. And 
I'm probably gonna see how it ha how it affects you before I even think about drinking. Okay. Well, you're getting any. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't get any. No. You get no tea, no matter what. Okay. You get none. <laughs> All right. You you've missed your chance. Elmar. Yes. On your character sheet. Uh oh. Go ahead. Put a plus one. Permanently. Oh. To intelligence. Wow. Is that for having manners? You don't get to know. That goes in my politeness yeah. trait to intelligence. Mm -hmm. Your intelligence score increases by one. Sick. Isn't he already the smartest one in the group? No. <laughs> or just the most mature? Neither. As the, as the tea kind of settles in for you, you feel this sort of creeping chill across your brain for a moment. And at first you're like, oh god, I've been poisoned. And then it passes. You feel very calm and lucid even. As you look around the rest of this little hut, you become acutely aware of what you probably already know. Most of what you're standing in is an illusion. Interesting. So it's we're still just in the middle of trees. Mm -hmm. Is she an illusion? No. Okay. You you two both rolled well enough to see her for what she truly is. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Interesting. I will keep this information to myself for the time being. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. She goes. It's a good brew, isn't it? It's got uh, quite a kick. Hmm. Kick is a good word. Now then, about this friend of yours. Yes, I'm. I'm sure. Just looking at him, you can tell he's not how he should be. Oh yes, many things out of place. Yes, there are things in there that do not belong, and things not in there that do. I would probably agree with that. Looking at him, Ooh. I didn't really uh, see the full scope of the damage and the attempted heals, but we used magic to heal him in a hurry. It was a life or death situation. Ah, and yes. now we'd like to rectify and try to get it corrected. And from what we understand, you might be the only person in the region that can help us. Of that, we are all certain. There's nothing better than desperation. Gentlemen, what I ask of you is deceptively simple. Okay. I need ingredients for things. I require ox's tongue. It's a plant. Don't go cutting tongues out of an ox. <laughs> that was my first thought. <laughs> Josh was like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. Done. How many? I got ten. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of mute ox. <laughs> I know you came from the north. Mm. I want winter bloom while you're there. Okay. You find the ox's tongue on your own. You leave the boy with me. He's got a lot of breaking to do. Oh, God. Oh, boy. You uh, bring me these two things uh -huh. within three days, Oh. and I return him to you. Now, if I may ask, are these things we are gathering in order to cure him or more of a payment for you and your services? Do you want your friend healed? Yes, I'm just... Does it matter? Are you okay if we leave one of our companions behind? You'll have to. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> one additional oh, one. No, why? Well, don't you want bones here in case <laughs> things go really crazy? If things go really crazy, we lose both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bones is like... <laughs> Hey, I'm just, I, I mean, of everybody here, this is the one person I'm worried about. I mean, I'm, my, my thing is more, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. You may have noticed I don't have a lot of friends. This is one of my friends, so I'm, I'm concerned for him. I'm not going to give up another one of my friends to save one of my friends. 
when in doing so might lose two of my friends. <laughs> All right. Actually, we'd, we probably need the help. We might have to split up to get these. Do you have any information on this ox's tongue flower in terms of color, shape? Oh, it's a beautiful shade of blue. The rest is up to you. Does it look like a mushroom? No. <laughs> I grow those. <laughs> They're mine. Okay. Fair. Okay. Um, well, um, if that is all it w you need, not then... all. If that's the price, we 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 agree. We will do our best to find. Wonderful. Then I'll see you in three days or less if you're fast. Hopefully. Okay. Um. I, one last insight check to make sure it's not like, thanks for the body, see ya guys, mm -hmm. and she won't like eat it, <laughs> put it in tea, and relocate, and we can't find her. Oh, that stings. Ooh. Nine. Nine? I mean, dude. ten. Ten. Oh, in that case. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a roll of the die. Yeah. Is that what you're going to say? It's... Odds are it could be good. Sure, be good. let's go with that. It's a roll of the dice. Like, why would she be so specific in what she needs? Although, this is a great plan or, or ruse to get us away from <laughs> ruse. But I You can try to heal him on your own if you I don't like. think we have a choice. Let, let's face it, if, if we I, can't get him fixed, he's dead anyway. I, I think between that and the venom that Hobo administered, we're, we're kind of stuck. Yeah. This is, I don't like this, um, but it is... I think the risk-reward is too great to pass up, and we will find... We will find the things... An ox's tongue, blue flower, just one. You just you only need one. Just one. Just Do you have one. a picture of what these things look like, so we know what we're looking for? If I had a picture, I would have them. <sighs> just I want ox's tongue in winter bloom. What? What do you mean? If you had a picture, you would have. I would have a picture. Like a well, drawing? Do you have a drawing? Or I, I mean, we're no. we're going to be cutting every blue flower from There's here a to what? a winter what? And a winter bloom. A winter bloom. The winter bloom you'll find up north. It's where you came from anyway. It should be easy for I'm you. I'm sure Griff will know what those are. Um. Okay. I was just curious if, like, she's like, I have a drawing. And then I, if I had one of those, I'd have a flower. Like, she could magically pull it out. I'm like, I'm a great artist. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you know, hey, it looks like a fox's tail or, you know what I mean? Or it yeah. looks like. It's called ox's tongue for a reason. Okay, we're looking for a blue flower that looks like a tongue. Or an ox. <laughs> okay, well, um... Clock's ticking, boys. Yes, it is. Thank you. You have three midnights. Yes. I'll see you then. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. We didn't get your name. I'm Elmar, by ah. the way. Nice to meet you. It is always a pleasure to meet a knight in desperation. Uh, yes, isn't it? You may call me Marin. Marin? I'll be here if you need me. But not you. I'm sorry I didn't drink your tea. You will be. Uh-oh. Alright, <laughs> well... Bones is like... <laughs> <laughs> Amenadiel had tea. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Amenadiel's too polite. He can't say no. Thank yeah. you so much. We appreciate this greatly. We will... Return with the plants. Oh, I know you will. Of that, I have no doubt. Right. Okay, and then we, when we're out of earshot, <laughs> <laughs> I can I just being so spooked, just walk out the door, but like not even open it, just like oh my god, and just like phase through it because yep. it's not there and then mm -hmm. to your eyes I'm just like he just bite. dissipates <laughs> yeah. through the door I'd be like what imagine how messed up be if you did that and he opens the door and you're gone uh, <laughs> I need a tea <laughs> I need a tea 
Um, okay. I, I suspect this isn't going to be as easy as walking up to a flower, mm -hmm. clipping it, and bringing it back. I am, yes. imagine that they're not common. Otherwise, she would not have asked for I, I, I feel like it's going to be, you know, under a dragon's egg or something, or, or, or we're going to have to hurt somebody innocent to get it. I don't know. I just have a really bad vibe about this. Are there flowers that grow from people's death? No, but I'm just saying I think... I, I don't well, think actually, this is going to be simple. Yes, but... Unrelated. Um, can I rack my brain for maybe any... Uh, if I've heard of this, do a history check. Have I heard of this before? Maybe in, in church or... Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm, if it has mm -hmm. healing properties, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, do, we'll do a medicine check for you. Please. That ahead. rolled so far away. It's a, it's a plus one to whatever that I is. I think it's an 18. An 18. Uh, it's a 19. Oh. Unnatural 20. Okay. Baby. Elmar. Yeah. You met the DC for that check. Oh, yeah. Now, Ox's tongue is also known as Witch Hazel. Oh. A very common healing herb. Awesome. Okay. Do so you know what this looks like? No. You oh. could... You could reasonably expect to find it at most apothecary shops. Cool. So we should go back to town. Um, that I'm was not... a very good check. <laughs> uh, I have heard it mentioned before by another name, uh, Witch Hazel. Um, Flip that. Sorry. It's called Borage. Sorry. That's way less fun of a word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Sorry. Borage? Yeah. Like yeah. Porridge it's even pee. more boring than <laughs> porridge. <laughs> you know what? No, it's called it's called borage. It's spelled like forage with a B. It's also known as a star flower or ox's tongue. Okay. Um anyway, I But yeah, they're I've, right next to each other on this list. I've heard of this being mentioned by an, another name of borage. Um You would probably know it as star flower, if we're being real. So I've heard it. Was <laughs> <laughs> You're being gaslighted right now. Uh, so uh, I've heard of this flower before, but uh, under a different name uh, of star flower. I honestly think we, we might be able to go back to town and, and just buy some. It can't be that easy. Can it? I mean, that's that's what I can remember. And if we get there and we find a, a, a blue flower, we could be back tomorrow morning. We just need to go up north and, and grab some of that uh, winter bloom. Well, maybe they, yeah, I hate to say it, but maybe they have that at the back there too. I mean, definitely going to ask. Yeah, let's go. But hey, if we can get one, great. Let's go. Let's go do it. Okay. So let's, uh, let's ride back. Uh, Bones will ride with the cart again. We can go a little, a wee bit faster. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we can go a lot faster now. Yeah. Um, Should we just leave the cart there? Is that too dangerous? Oh, can we return it? How long does the receipt need to be valid to... I mean... Well, I guess Bones can answer you. Was... I just told him we needed it for, like, an excursion. Oh, okay. I, if we... Return without it, and you see, you know, you left it with whoever that was back there. No, we can, we can actually wait. Bones. Yeah, Bones is like, well, I mean, we left it with that lovely girl back there. So, I mean, sure. With that lovely girl? Yeah. She was stunning. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, what are you on about, mate? Uh, your eyes screwed in right. You and you and I have a different opinion of um, external beauty. Yeah, speak for yourself, man. She's all yours, buddy. All right. 
I, I mean, I I prefer to not have to lean around the two foot nose to to kiss my lady. But... Wait, it wasn't that big. And those teeth? Oh, they're perfect. Every color of the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. You're both nuts. Huh. All right. Well, well maybe we she's can... all yours when we get back. We, we can get that tea of yours. We can uh, go <laughs> get some winter bloom, and then maybe we can set you up with a date. Yeah. I'll be your wingman. All right. <laughs> Not bad. You know, maybe we can trade bones for a few <laughs> hours instead of the flower, because I don't think she gets um, a lot of attention. I live in that far out in the woods. Can't imagine it. <laughs> can fix that. Okay. Oh, bone. <laughs> he didn't pass his insight check. I know. Check. I know. <laughs> he he didn't, saw the illusion. He didn't do well. Oh, well. But yeah, for Elmar, who's like, this is so obviously yeah. <laughs> just another magical trick. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yeah, Gentlemen, stuff, as you know. ride back towards town, the ride back is very simple. The mushrooms do not lead you astray. And in fact, you leave them behind pretty quick. You're back in town and inside of 20 minutes. Wow. Let's head to the apothecary. And uh, this is turning out to happen much quicker than I expected. Yeah, I... My suspicions are really bad, but this seems like it's not horrible. I, in magic paranoia, would like to just look at the sun and make sure it's still like moving in the correct direction. Okay. <laughs> There's not... Get a, give me an enhanced nature check once more. Uh, eight. Eight? Uh -huh. You're fairly certain that the sun is still moving in the normal way, but your paranoia is sinking doubt. in. You're like, there's enough doubt. Does the sun always my time, set in the east? My time has been inverted. Like, Elmo, I don't see how that that guard could be that afraid and this be this easy. Like, it's, it seems too good to be true. Yes, it definitely does. I, I think um, you and I should definitely just keep our guard up. That's all I'm saying. I mean, if we walk in this apothecary right now and there's nothing but these flowers, then we know that something's everything up. on the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. And let, you let's... walk in, they go, hello, I'm Borage. Would you like some Borage? <laughs> like, no, stop. Borage, 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 Borage. <laughs> Chasing us around. Town. We, like, ah! Just look at everything with a yes. curious, suspicious mind. That's For all sure. I'm saying. Elmar. You and Bones have spent the most time in Fola. Rafasul, you spent a little bit here, back in your athletic heyday. Let's have all three of you cool. make a survival check, please. Survival? This is not like, you're not dying or anything, but it's remembering the layout of a city. Okay. So you are retreading paths you have gone over before. Bones has no idea. 18. I got a six. Oh, well, I mean, that is pretty fitting. I got Last a time you were here, things were exploding. Uh, it stands to reason. Yeah. You'd be like, I don't freaking know, man. Bones, his, he's probably still thinking about the girl in the, in the hut. He's like, man. All right. We have, we're, we're on a, we're on a mission. Um, Elmar. Uh-huh. A name springs to mind. Ingram's Herbs. And you're like, yeah, hey, maybe. I don't know. There, there is a an herb shop. I recall, actually. Let's let's go see if they have what we need. Okay. All right. Have you been here before? The city? Mm, it looked different when I was here. But yes, it was a long time ago. Before all of this... Hot dad nonsense. Um, actually, right at the beginning of the hot dad nonsense. For me. But I know that the city was attacked when uh, he had come to challenge for the fighting stone that was here. I, I wasn't involved. You weren't involved with that? No. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I was, we were greatly outnumbered, and I. <laughs> <laughs> if I did it, <laughs> dude. No, just stick no, with the. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't you, here. I was, you can uh, stick with the no answer. That's fine. I, I was trying to have humor. I'm trying to be more friendly as you guys. Uh, you know, I'm trying to lighten up a little. <laughs> okay. Sorry, not a funny joke. <laughs> that was a very funny joke. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. As you guys head back into town, you hitch up the horses again. Or the steeds, shall we say. Not necessarily a horse. Closer to an elk. But as you guys head back down the winding streets, Elmar, you're like, all right, they used to talk about this place. I think it's over here. And you see a, a very crudely painted on flask of some kind with some bubbles headed out the top and a very poorly carved letter I I, I think this is the place uh, yeah she didn't spend a lot on marketing <laughs> so was, yeah I think we should check it out okay okay do you rap tap tap <laughs> <laughs> the, the classic Rap tap tap. You hear? Yeah. Yeah, open. I'll walk in. Hello. Uh. Oh, hi. Good day to you. Good day. Not every day you get the knights coming here. Oh. Well, here I am. Um. Mm -hmm. We are looking for a couple herbs and or flowers mm. i must admit i'm not the most well versed in plants but okay um one is um uh, borage oh yeah you know borage yeah do you have any here i have i have one borage um one it, flower from the borage does, does it have any other names that you're aware of um let me remember <laughs> what they are. Oh yeah, um most most of the time we call it star flower. Much easier to recognize. Fair, fair. But uh, it's like blue. It's a blue star. Okay. You know, like the five pointing shape. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Do you do you remember any other names? Does it have any other mm. any other names? Um, I mean, sometimes they call it like ox tongue, but it's rare. That's like an old name for the flower. Now we call it borage. Okay. Uh, how much for for a borage flower? Well, it's, it's the only one, but um, it's sort of out of season, so it's a little rare to see. But it's not too expensive. I have for 10 gold if you want it. It's just the flower, though, if you need the stem or the roots. I don't have those. I'd like to... How, how long have you lived here? I have lived in Fola for... Oh, probably... You know, 10 years now. 10 years. Set up shop here. It's a good... It's a good place to be. It's where the people are. How else can we check to make sure we're in reality and not under some kind of <laughs> I have potions spell. for that. Uh, you I know mean, what I'm we saying? have the one, we have the flask from the dude, but I mean, if anything, if I'm, if I'm being honest, speaking out of character for a minute, I would feeling decently comfortable because bones fell for stuff that we didn't. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like I'm seeing someone mm -hmm. who is stuck in that, and mm -hmm. it makes me feel like I'm not. And here's my problem where I am is I see that Bones was completely deceived, and I see that I'm partially deceived because you walk through a door that I saw as a door. Fair. So now I'm a little concerned that 
the this world's not real the merchant i'm talking to right now is a, a mind game you know what i mean like, i feel like i'm in He's an illusion uh, like i'm in the matrix you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i don't know if i can trust everything i see um, and i'm taking everything i look at observe everything is under an extremely suspicious eye because i just don't trust her do you have any winter bloom here Hmm. No, no winter bloom. Usually it's in uh, colder climates. You have to go north. Do you know of any that? any um, shops in the area that might have procured it? If they did, they'd have a very good messenger. Okay. It doesn't keep well. Uh, okay. Do you? Could you tell us? Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have a book with maybe a drawing of a picture so we can? see what it looks like yeah uh, let me do a quick google so i can describe it to you good question it's so loud and you know why you're looking for the book maybe you could tell me mm -hmm. this um this oxtail Sorry, instead of star flower. Uh huh. Um, what what would it be used for, or what could it be used for? What if what what does your experience tell you that it might be used for? Oh, um. So there's this uh, old tale about you no know, somebody that nervous. They have a big big fight or something. They take it, it calms the nerves. Um, you know, it either. You could say it uh, gets rid of fear or makes you brave. Depending on the perspective. You can mix it with other things. It's sometimes they grind it up, get a more potent version of some other plant. Like the uh, winter it, bloom? Yes. Is there anything that you know of that you could make with those two flowers in particular? Not by mixing the two, no. Um, the star flower is more like a catalyst for something else. That's pretty common to use in any more powerful potion stuff. Like for, um, if I wanted to make a potion to heal you, I might put a little in there to give it some more power. All right, so I'm looking at you like, okay, so maybe she needs this for him. Yeah, I, I mean, winter bloom usually is it. It doesn't keep well. It doesn't there's not a lot of recipe I know that uses. It. How long until it spoils once we take it out of the ground? Uh, if you if you just pluck the the flower on there, maybe a few days. If you keep it in soil, you know, you could keep it alive. So we could transport it by say pot with soil i would say so yeah where's pollen <laughs> <laughs> but um you asked for a picture of it i did thank you i'm going to describe it because it's funnier it looks like to you guys as human beings looks like a meatball that you stick fritos in like, like if you, a, like if a you, COVID atom? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Like if you took a meatball. <laughs> very good. To a meatball and you stick some Fritos in there and then there's these little red puffs on there. It's a, it's a yellow. <laughs> I'm not fully convinced that it's not what you're looking at. No, here you go. No, it's okay. No, it's all right. No, it's all right. Okay. We, we, all right. We, we, yellow, we, yellow spaghetti noodle Fritos. In a meatball with a little bit of marinara yeah. on it. We, we, we trust the DM. I don't know about the frozen guy that's selling supplies. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> yoo -hoo, yoo -hoo. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. No, the, uh, the first one sounds like it is needed for his own mental capacity to get through. Yeah, I think so too. So I think this is... I, How I, long will this keep? Oh, the, uh, the star flower? Yes. I have like a week or two for it'll start to wilt. Okay, here's what I want to do. Okay. And see if you agree. 
Do you have any empty pots that we might be able to put the winter bloom into to keep it alive? Um, I mean, sure. You can have like a jar of soil. I, okay. Yeah, something that we can transport it and maybe mm -hmm. instead of it spoiling in three days, we could get some time out of it. Yeah. Even though we only have three days. If you pull the whole flower out, you know, with the roots, mm -hmm. you'll get all around there, get all of them. They'll last a few days. Okay. I think we need that. If you just pluck the petals, they they don't last. Okay. Okay. All right. And then I think, you know, this might be risky or dangerous, but and maybe a little bit of a waste of time. But since it was only a 20 minute trip down here, maybe on our way back up north, because we're south, right? Of where that was? Where we were. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, where we were. Since we're going north anyway, why don't we stop by, drop this off? Because then we fulfilled that portion. We don't have to worry about it. Oh, yeah. I'm spoiling cool or I'm cool. whatever. And then we'll be on our way north. Yeah. You agree? And then maybe, just maybe, if she's got a soul at all, she'll start to work on him and use this to help. The hardest the part is going to be going back up there, getting it, then having to come back again and do it. But, um... Does your little magical teleporty thing take us up there? No. That's great. We can, uh, we've, we've attuned to these stones that have magical properties and we can teleport to them. Okay. Not to wherever we want. Well, I didn't know if there was one up there or one that um, maybe gets us closer. If there is, we haven't attuned to it yet. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Well. Um, how many days north would we have to travel to find this flower? Oh, um... I'm hoping you say less than a day and a half. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we can teleport back, so in theory it could still be like three days and pushing it. Two days, 23 hours, yeah. and then teleport you know, back and go. Um, you know, it, it grows where there is like snow, but also soil. So you have to go north. To the fringe of I, snow. I truly feel like Griff will will know of this plant. I know that doesn't please you, but um, it, it doesn't. Hey, if we can fix them, I think we need to do it. Okay. Actually, I don't think it's uh, for sure. For sure. No, I think we we ride back. We ride north. We ask Griff because he would know, and uh, we can figure out how to get it back. Okay. Do you need any other potions today? Um, do you have any potions that will help us with how are I, I don't do well in the cold. Do you have something Whoa. that might help me in the cold? No, I probably do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Called a jacket. <laughs> Here's my coat. I think we are the same size. <laughs> yeah. He'll, he'll dig around in the, in the stock room for a moment. Come out with a, a deep purple. Smoky vial. Whoa. Yeah, so you drink this, and the cold doesn't really hurt you for a few few hours, you know? It's Thanks. a short-term remedy. That's okay. You just take a few swigs, though, it'll last a while. Thank you. I, 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 I'd like... How much is that? That is for 50 gold piece. 50? Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't afford that. Okay. That's okay. So, but thank you. Uh huh. Now you know it exists. Mm hmm. I didn't know it existed. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have any money. I'm traveling with your guys' money. So, if it was a gold piece, I'd be like, no big deal, but I don't want to spend your money. To not be a little cold. I think if you can, uh, if you can imagine you go, oh, Ruse's, a little cold. Ruse's, all of his bones breaking and yeah. resetting, I think you can handle. I, <laughs> I don't know if you paid much attention to how well I fought in the cold, but it wasn't very I good. Wasn't, uh, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> you were far away. You couldn't see I me. I had to pee real bad. Elmo's just like, one sec, guys. Don't do anything crazy. <laughs> I gotta go take yeah. a dump in the woods. Ice tiger <laughs> comes back. <laughs> What's going on out there? You kids fighting again? <clears throat> no. Nope. Okay. Well, shall we ride? I do have oh. something for cheaper. 
Keep you warm. <laughs> Keep you healthy. What is that? It's called watercress. Sometimes they call it scurvy grass. Common for sailors to, to chew on, you know? Mm -hmm. Got lots of good stuff in there. Keep it from getting so shaky. Mm. Keep the blood in the fingers. How much is that? I'll give you a free sample. I, I would I would yeah. very much appreciate Here that. Here you go. Thank He'll you. He'll hand you a small, this little, little tiny green leaf. He goes, it will keep for several weeks. So, you know, next time you start to get the cold jitters, you, you just write that down for me. Put it on, put it in the back of your cheek right here. Okay. It will keep you better. I will, I will transfer that to my notes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I hope it works for what you. Was it scurvy grass? Watercress, if you want the, the actual name. I wrote scurvy stick. <laughs> it's a scurvy stick. <laughs> All right, so, the scurvy stick. Um, look, we got enough supplies for what a day and a half. Mm -hmm. Well, now we might be gone. To our, well, actually, we'll be with our supplies, right? Mm -hmm. So, because how many days ride is it to to get to uh, to catch back up? Yeah, it's like two, two was, days. But if but, you don't run into you know werewolves and yeah. a dragon on the way it's yeah. a and little bit less it's a day and a half like, if, and you, if, if we take if your, you push it doing a day if we take your creature we can get back but we might not be able to go and then come back again right hmm. I mean we brought your creature to ride because he's fast and he can get us correct yeah, but we don't know how many rides you have with him right like he, you're talking about two different creatures oh okay. so he has a he has an elk mount that I brought And then with. he's talking about the dragon. The dragon buddy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. All right. So, okay. No, I, yeah. I definitely don't want to do that. Yeah. But yeah. But the, if we can take your the creature Southbuck and get back. steeds can get you to where you were. Mm -hmm. If you push them and don't sleep, you can do it in a day. We're talking like probably 18 hours of riding straight. You'd, you would incur a point of exhaustion, but you could make it there. And exhaustion is very rarely, if ever, a good thing. It's yeah. it's pretty rough. Yeah. But we don't want to be that way. Okay, so, like, if we can do this in, let's just say we get up there in two days, right? And we can use your little teleport thingy. Mm -hmm. Come back, we realize we're less than a half hour away. So that gives us two days to get there. And... The good part of a day to find it. Yeah. And then you and I can both change, you know, trade off. Uh, we'll get the cart. Can we get there in two days with the cart? No, the cart, no. No. Well, then we're probably pretty if much... You, if you have a cart on the back, it's going to be yeah, jostling. Yeah, yeah. Two days we down. can stop and we can sleep, right? Yeah. Two, you could make it there in a full day of riding... Okay, resting so that, and then about half a day of riding. Let's do all that. Right. So that's a six hour nap, basically. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I think that's a good plan. All right. Let's let's go drop this off just in case she can give it to Ruse early and sure. maybe help with the pain. Okay. Okay. So we're going to ride back to. Okay. You ride back down that western gate, down that same road with those same mushrooms. What color are the mushrooms? Purple until you approach. Okay. Blue when you get close. Well, do you want to do what you did last time? To Would you like them? to try it this time? I, I think it worked for you and they turned green and... <laughs> Pocket sand. I hate to say this, but um, you drank the tea and I think I offended her. So, you drank uh, the Kool-Aid. I think I'd feel better if you did it. Because it worked last time. Hello, little mushroom friend. Hello, friend. Oh. Uh... We'd like to deliver this to Marin. Okay. As a gift. Would you like me to take it, or would you like to take it? Um, you know what? I would like to take it. Okay. Would you like me to accompany you to the door? Uh, sure. Okay. Come along. Don't bring talking. No, it just Yeah, Rafa, so you don't hear it. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Elmar's just talking to a mushroom. Don't burst me. Like, who are you talking to? The mushroom. The mushroom didn't talk. I didn't hear any talking. Off we go. But I also, you know, saw a door that you walked through, so... Maybe there was something in that tea. Well... Okay, then. Here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll ask questions after. Bail! Okay. Yeah, your, your new mushroom buddy. I'll walk you all the way up to the door. She's waiting inside. Thank Just kind of plant himself back in. Thank you, mushroom friend. No I'm, problem. I'll turn to Ruff, so like... <laughs> I'm like... Uh, you know... What I've seen in the last few days this is this is fairly crazy. Um, I'll go up to the door and rap tap tap. Rap tap tap. And uh, open it up. Curious how you knock when you know it's fake. <laughs> Old habits die hard, I guess. <laughs> Manners maketh the man. Indeed they do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm about to get a scowl. Uh, just, we're about to go head up and get the, the uh, winter bloom, but mm -hmm. we have the ox's tongue now, mm -hmm. so we thought we would give it to you now, so that and you... And you would receive half of a healed friend? No, no, we don't no. want, we don't want any, we just want it in your care mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. while we go get the other one. Think of it as a deposit, a good faith deposit. We just want to make sure we don't have to give them both to you at the same time to count as payment. Is it satisfactory to give you one now and go get the other and bring it back? Or does do you need to have them given to you at the exact we same time? We just wanted to see if this could assist with our friend now. I, we didn't know if he needed them at the same time or if this one could begin the process. Um, we were... Oh, I've begun the process. Did you not hear the screaming on the ride up? No. Um, okay, well, <laughs> should we hold on to this or do you want it now? Makes no difference to me. Here you go. Thank you. Um, I'm going to look at Ruse. Is he unconscious at the moment? He's eyes wide. He's chewing on some like little wooden stick. There's dozens of them snapped on the floor. And you can see the right half of him has been... It's just completely black and blue, new bruising. Bones are still sticking up. She's like, I'm quite busy. Okay, well, um, Ruse, I'm sure you hate me right now. However, hmm. you look better. We're going to go get you some additional medicine. You're in good hands. Uh, I'm going to leave now so we can go get it quicker. Good luck, friend. Let's see, his eyes kind of roll back as he just goes <laughs> and just cracks another one of his ribs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you can see most of her arm is just covered in blood and extra <sighs> pus and sorts of we nastiness. We knew going into it that this was going to be <sighs> potentially required. Um, so, yes. <sighs> Let's go. Uh, ho hopefully it's worth the price. I, I mean, wow, that's a lot to endure. And as we ride... Oh, are, are you good to leave? Yeah, I'm good okay. to leave. As, as we start making our way... Um, I mean, if you were in his position, would you want to go through that to be normal again? Well, it, I mean, let's face it, the way he was, he was going to die just from pain, right? I mean, it's not something he used to. So I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, it really isn't our choice to make, but we have to make it. I mean, I, I feel like before I saw any of that, if you had asked me, I would, I would say, of course, you know, my sense of duty transcends my uh you know well-being but after having witnessed that I, I have a hard time volunteering anyone for that kind of treatment uh, i just hope that he comes out okay and doesn't hate us for it mm -hmm. i can't imagine uh emotional scarring will not take place in some capacity though L let me just put I it feel really bad let me put it this way we have to succeed because for him to go through that yeah and, and not, not make it yeah yeah mm -hmm. i don't know about you but i you know i don't know what we can control but the one thing we can is succeeding and getting this back so that he doesn't go through all this pain for nothing on 
the other side, we were correct in that this treatment was going to wake him out of the poison coma that Hoba put him into, so at least that wasn't permanent. Yeah. And, I mean, he did look you in the eye, and I, I know he was in a lot of pain, but if, if you were in a situation where you didn't want to go through that and you didn't think it was worth it, he could have said, kill me, or, you know what I mean, or, or, or something, possibly. But I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I All I know is we have a mission and we need to complete it. Yeah. Okay. We made our choice. It's true. He's already gone through. A... We've made our bed. It's time to lie in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to ride for probably, what, eight, nine hours? We probably want to get halfway there. Okay. Yeah. I won't... Uh bemoan you with the the tale of traveling through broad daylight on roads well traveled by you as bone stands behind you with two coconuts <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah you guys you guys ride until sundown as the two of you and bones are just sort of exhausted from the day as you settle in for a night on the road. Hmm. Who wants to roll the encounter? If Go there even it. will be one. Give me a give me a 12 sided die. Right. 10? 10 on the die. All right, boys. Your night passes uneventfully. Yeah. Um who who takes first watch or the watch? Um, I can a man deal the watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just can't easily communicate if there's an issue but he can come bump me and wake me up if, mm -hmm. if there is an issue okay i'll do the I, second one i mean he's been sitting there doing pretty much nothing and resting most of the ride so okay let's let him do it okay and i i literally i've got to heal from these wounds i'm i've been beat up sure for... yeah no you, you, yeah i've already agreed <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, I no, just, that's fine. You can sleep. Yeah, I'm just really tired. I feel okay. You guilty. can do it. I, yeah, I don't you know. feel guilty, but I really do need it. I agree. <laughs> you, so. you already won, man. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Amenadiel will take first watch. Amenadiel's watch. No problem. He walks around for a little bit. Probably spins his bone club in his hand. Maybe does a few practice tosses to himself. Nothing too spooky. He'll walk over and just kind of awkwardly shuffle up to Elmar and just poke you in the side. Oh, I'll wake up. And, and, and hello. Uh, am, am, am I Think Okay. Um, thank you. And anything out of the ordinary? No? Okay. Pretty cool, like, boomerang thing you got. Oh, I can try it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It comes right back to your hand. I don't catch it though. Okay. <laughs> 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 you go. I, I you only instinctively have one throw your shield up. <laughs> yeah. It's, okay. Uh, he kind of chuckles, picks it up. It's difficult with only one real arm and <laughs> one metal arm. Can I tell you about how I got my metal arm? He kind of sits back. <laughs> and I will go into excruciating detail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to keep my watch passing. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and, and probably embellish some details about how I was a, a higher rank knight than I was at the time that okay. it happened. Um, and You were probably like a steward. <laughs> yeah, and like I, I was a hero because of it, but in actuality I was like... Uh, on the about to be kicked out of town and in prison um yeah he starts kind of leaned back and as your story gets on and on he's like leans forward he's <laughs> like uh yeah and just kind of go through all that because it's it's been a while since i've had someone new to tell my tale to. <laughs> yeah so you can actually like tell it the way you want yeah 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 okay yeah bones is kind of half asleep just chuckles and rolls over a few <laughs> times <It's> like no <laughs> But uh, yeah, the the night passes with no no ill effects. As the sun starts rising, you're 
you're nearing the end of your tail and Amenadiel's kind of like blinking to stay awake, but he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? <laughs> There's got to be more. And that's how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> to this campsite. And then my mom said, it's time to start kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's just taking notes. <laughs> All right. Amenadiel's going to come over and sleep next to me like he always does. While he's my you buddy. Get up. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah like, Omar finally. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean he's gonna lay down and then and then you realize that the sun's up and then I'm like, sorry, uh, buddy, we gotta go. Uh, and then I think a minute deal's gonna look at you like, oh you saw. <laughs> he'll haul himself up onto the, the saws buck and just kind of rest his head. Yeah. Cause he can sleep on there, right? Yeah. I mean it's not part. the most restful thing on a but, galloping horse, but he can he can rest, but that's the beauty of it is he can actually rest up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he doesn't have any like ill effects of being up. He's just he's tired. Mm -hmm. But he he rested. He spent eight hours not being active. It was a good night to choose for him to have a watch because there was mm -hmm. nothing that happened. Oh for sure. Okay, and I feel amazing. Mm hmm. You you probably do. Mm hmm. You're like wow. That's what it's like to sleep. It's great. All right, boys. As you saddle up and ride north once more, give me one more possible encounter check. Give me a D12. Come on. Do it. Roll 10 or better like I did. 12. 12. 12. He nails it. No, you don't want an 11 or a 12. Most of the way through your ride, the mountains seem like they're getting a lot closer to you. You can see the trees far away. It's familiar ground once more. But as you're riding, the little, little tremor in the earth. And then a bigger one. And then an even bigger one. Do we feel these at the speed we're going? Just subtly. Okay. But it's more like your vision is shaking more mm -hmm. than it should be. Do you give, feel, me a, well, give me a perception stop. check, Let's boys. Stop. As you as you skitter to a halt here. Twelve on the die. Twelve? Okay. Mm -hmm. Elmar, how'd you do? Natural one. What? What do you see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't I call say him shades. <laughs> okay. As you're riding, mm -hmm. Rafasul, you feel this earth tremor mm -hmm. in your chest. It's like it's shaking your ribs, basically. Okay. As you ride, Elmar, you you have a bumpier ride than most with all your heavy plate mail. Uh huh. So it just like walking around for you. There's a lot of clanging and, and stuff. So sure, it's sure. pretty it's pretty normal to feel like you're you're shaking. Okay. But when you stop riding, you hear boom, boom, boom. Like this it's almost like a really loud drum beat. How far are we away from the rest of our group? You can't see them, but you can see where they are. So, less than a couple hours. Easily. Okay. Is there any way we can get to them? The drum is drumming away, man. All the right. Dude? Are you able to teleport quickly to ah. peek at, at what... Is there a shadow where they would most likely be? Not within range of you, no. Not you that are... they would trust me if I came back without you anyway. <laughs> no, 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 not to our group, but to peek at what the drum. Okay, yeah. Is, are there any shadows near the drum? You don't see one. You just hear it. But, oh but, but it's, my... It's like I'm going to perception loud... check because the drum would... I could at least tell what direction oh, it was Your going. perception let you hear the drum. But it, it doesn't tell me what direction. I'd know if it was behind me to the left no, or right. Just, it or feels like it's all around you. Bouncing off all the mountains. Oh, mm -hmm. God. There's, there is a very oh, loud 
percussive drum. Just wow. I loud and hard enough to shake the earth you're riding on. If this is what I feared his, then I don't think there will be time for the winter bloom. Have you experienced this before? I mean, this... By the look on your face, I'm going to go with a yes. This is reminiscent. It's giving me flashbacks to when we encountered Hot Dad's army. That's what I was and afraid this of. sounds a lot larger than the last time. Well, if it's... If it's as large or larger than the one encounter I had with him, the four of us are no match for that. Yeah, but we need to get them and get out and get to where they're going or sneak in or something. If we just blitz past and let them go wherever they're going, they're going to kill everyone they come across. Do you think we can take them? No. <laughs> I mean, so wouldn't that be suicide? I mean, I'm no coward. I'm just saying, what good is it for us to kill, you know, 10% of them and die? And I mean, if you say you can kill Hot Dad and you have utter confidence in it and we get in there and it takes our lives, but we manage to kill Hot Dad, then that's what it is. But you know what? We need, I would rather have the extra two odds with us to, to make it happen. Um... But I would like to to get some intel on this this movement. This seems like a rather large army. All right, I, I want to do a perception check around me. If there's somewhere mm -hmm. for us where we can peek hide, over a rock, get high ground, get some kind of tactical advantage, since mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. don't know we're there, but we know they're coming, eek. right? So I'm looking. Sure. I'm looking for some kind of. Eek. Okay. Eek. Oof. Never mind. Oof. <laughs> How'd you do? Oof! A one. A one. A one. Refusul. There's a pebble three inches in front of you. Looking, Great. looking around. Mm -hmm. You see a small green monkey with a stick. That's good. And he's kind of banging it on a rock. Sort of in time with the loud drumming. He seems like he's trying to like anticipate. Mm -hmm. He's like, boom, boom. But not okay. in complete time. So it's no. obviously not him. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he sees like. Seems like he's trying to figure it out. I don't suppose you're like our friend and can speak to this monkey. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm incapable of speaking to animals, but now that you mention it, this is uh, I've seen these before with a, comp a companion of ours. Hello, little friend. Are you with Lavernia? Yes. He seems to be still trying to hit in time with the distant Do loud you, thunder. Are you with them? The no, no? Okay. Just to like anticipate, hits it a little early. Please. Um. Well, you better get to safety. You can come with us if you want, but it seems like it's not going to be safe here for long. He kind of waddles up to your shield. Come. How loud does that sound to me? Compared to everything else, not very. Oh, okay. It's kind of like, like, can we fake so it and scare them off like we're coming from the other side? Yeah. <laughs> Dung. I mean, maybe. Who knows? Depends I, what the the distant sound of drumming actually. Yeah, I wanna I wanna get an eye on that, dude. Yeah, I do too. Um, I tried. I didn't see any shadows. I didn't see any high ground. You you know what? Do you maybe want to take a look around and see if you can see something I can't? So uh, hard for the monkey not to just go smeak or nose the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> he'll just yeah. keep bonking on your shield. Do you do you know what's making that noise? He goes. <laughs> yeah, but like, have have you seen what's doing it? Like a big something? Is it a a friend to you? You don't know. Is there, do you know of anywhere we can see them without them noticing us? Points to the top of the mountain. 
yeah. The one that my cataracts won't allow me to see, apparently. <laughs> well, you're you're in the same familiar territory. But oh, okay. Like you, you can the see the top of the mountain where our companions are. Well, your companions are at the entryway to the forest. They're oh. waiting for you. Okay. At least I'm assuming they're waiting for you. We'll find out. Are they close they enough told. that they could hear this as well? Is it that loud? Probably. You you would be surprised if they couldn't. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's it sounds like rhythmic thunder. Jeez, Louise. <sighs> like a drum that's doing the cadence for the walk or the march. Is it on the other side of the mountain? Have you seen them? Oh, you haven't seen them yet? Are they close? Yeah, I don't know. You haven't seen them. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just keeps bonking his little stick it's into It's nice that he understands YouTube. common language. Yeah. Well, we should... I think we should regroup with the other two. And, um... Uh, I... Because if we go... If we go looking to try to see what this is and we end up in trouble, then... They'll be none the wiser as to where we yeah, are. Yeah, I agree. I, I, if there's any way at all we can get to them, we should. And yeah, and we can't forget Ruse. We're going to have to. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to try to find this flower. Yeah. The little monkey will tap on your shield twice and then head over to the rock he was clanging on and goes. What? So he's trying to tell us something. Maybe we should bang on the shield two times with your metal arm. Hit it twice. All right, give me a performance check. A challenge to a drum battle. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Elmar. I was I was dancing with the monkeys earlier. Uh -huh. You earlier. were vibing yeah. with them. <laughs> this little monkey taps on the rock twice. As you clang your sword into your shield, you let out this very cacophonous clanging of metal as the little rock that he's kind of tapping on vibrates and hums. Hmm. And this large rock like snake emerges from the ground. Oh boy. And gives you a recognizing hmm. nod as it slams its tail into the ground twice. And the little monkey just kind of points up. All right. Hello, friend. Um, I don't, I'm sure you sense the vibrations nearby. Do you know if they are friend or foe? You don't know? You don't know? Are they friend or foe to you? We don't know. You don't Would know. you be able to perhaps get us a tunnel or a vantage point which we could see what is causing this noise without them being aware of our existence? It will bow its massive snake-like body down towards the little monkey. And he climbs on the back. And on top of its head is a large stone fin. And the little monkey just kind of holds on there. Taps the stick twice, and the whole snake structure begins to spiral into the ground, Wee. leaving a tunnel in its wake. Which direction is the tunnel? Towards the mountain. <laughs> at least at the start. <laughs> as I as take... Bones just goes... I mean, it's not the weirdest thing I've seen. Question. Do you think you'd be capable of, of zip zapping your way up to our friends and letting them know we're going in here? Cause yes, because it's dark. I should be able to. In the tunnel, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I want to go. Oh, you're just going to follow through to get the info? I'm just saying I, I okay. can through the tunnel. If I you want to do that with the a deal, I'll go get Griffin Perseus and, and come back to this tunnel and, and we'll We'll either meet you here, or if I don't see you, we'll start going through it. Okay. I'm going to roll a perception check of the tunnel. Okay. Take a look see do. Six on the die. Okay. I mean, there's... You've seen... 
weirder things today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yesterday especially, but you know, a, it's not every day a monkey and a giant rock snake dig a hole for you. Mm -hmm. Seems it doesn't seem like it's gonna collapse on you anytime soon. Even okay. with the loud thunderous I'm booms. I'm not particularly afraid of underground either. So okay. I'm okay. I'll do that. All right. You're, the same cannot be said for your steed. Your mm. steed is like, I ain't going down there. I, no chance. Because it kind of like rears up and it's like, I'm uh, not. Why don't you take the steed with you? You might need it for the uh, oh, other guys. Okay. Um, and then I can... Bones can lash it to his if you need. Can you... He's familiar enough with the the idea of steeds. I want to... Never mind. Redacted. I, let... Method redacted. I mean, unless you can think of any, any better way to do this, I think we're going to have to... Uh... I mean, it's either... I think one of us... I mean, I can try to... Bones, do you think you can find... The other two and, and redirect them to this tunnel? I mean, I'm not the best pathfinder, but it's a big hole. Um, if I can find them, I can make my way back. You a little worried about him being ambushed? No, I just, I'm not. No, I'm a little worried about him oh, being ambushed. Yeah. That was rhetorical. Fair. Um, you know what? Let's just follow. Maybe it's not that far, but I'm, I'm just worried how, how far this is going to be. And what we're going to see on the other side. Yeah. How fast is this snake moving? Uh, so it's moving at a decent click. You can see a little bit of a disturbance do we, above do, ground for do, how far out it's gone. Do I need my teleporting abilities to keep up or will I be walking behind it? You could barely keep up if you teleport. Okay. So if that's the case, then you're just going to hold me back. Okay. Fair. So sure. Let, let me... Okay. This is something I specialize okay. in, so let me do this. Okay. All right. As Rafasul disappears into the earth, Almar, you and Bones stay turf side. Uh huh. We'll pick it up uh, okay. with the with the boys the next time. Boys. Okay. With Ruse in the care of the healer. Elmar and Refusul return to the Northlands as thunder roils in the air around them. If you enjoyed this session of Ragnarok, feel free to leave us a like on the video. If you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you can follow the links in the description box below to check out our Patreon, where you can join the discussion in our Discord server, or check out the post show still rolling. There's also a link if you'd like to rock some boarding party merch. Let us know in the comments if you would have trusted this healer if you were in their position. And send your well wishes to Ruse. Thanks for watching, boarding party. Catch you next week.